What is up, YouTube? It is back another day, and um, I have a tutorial on a game as an apology. Like, because uh, I haven't been posting Gray Fox, I just haven't been able to get around to it because I've been playing with my friends, like just hanging out with them and all that. So, without further ado, let's do the tutorial. And for the tutorial, it's how to add characters, extra slots, and um, uh, what are they called? Uh, stages to a game that my friend Luke showed me called Mugen. It's this right here. I uh, don't don't mind these. These are just the characters that I don't use, and that's a screen pack I have. But I will not te be teaching you how to use the screen pack. I will be teaching you default Mugen, but I will. Uh, I can't. I can't. I won't be able to show you guys that it works. So you guys are gonna have to like make sure you guys follow these steps thoroughly. But except for the character and the stages, that's the only way. But I can the more slots is gonna have to be. Uh, hopefully that I I do it right for you guys, which I know I will. And um, so yeah, let's get let's um, get started. So for the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, when you get Mugen, you're gonna notice you only have two characters with twelve with uh, ten extra slots. And say uh, you don't only want those ten slots, it's okay. Uh, you can just stay around for this part and the stages. Um, so the first place you're going to want to go to, well obviously you're going to want to look, is for more characters. Now I'd suggest you going to the, um, the, the, the Mugen, sorry it's like really hard to pronounce for me, the Mugen site, like the Wikia, it's really good, it's got 91 pages of characters, so let's do some math, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times, four, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 16 times 91, that's how many characters are on here. Except for the last, except for here, because there's only three. So basically, just subtract, uh, I don't know, do the, just do the math on your own. But, um, there's quite a bit, and then you have even subcategories down here. Well, yeah, like right here. <clears throat> so you can go to this site, or you can just type in Mugen characters, like right there. It's gonna pop up. Okay. Mm. Oh, we got the Jewel Man from Mega Man right there. Um, you got MugenCharacters.org, Mugen Archive. Uh, personally, I prefer the Wikia and the Archive because just my personal experience, they're easier to download off of. Um, and uh, .org doesn't have many characters, and it's also quite complicated because you have to find a couple links. So um, we have categories right here. Originals, edits, mini game bonus stages, which aren't there. Uh, other fighters, heroes, manga, comics, TV, SNK, uh, or Capcom. Then we have a bunch of subcategories, so we're going to go to Capcom because honestly, I love Capcom. They're like, honestly, the best. Other than freaking um, Naughty Dog. They're like, Naughty Dog is just the best. But uh, we're going to go Capcom versus SNK, too. Just for some guys. Uh, let's see. Let's get. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just. I'm just gonna grab a random guy. Sorry if I mispronounced their name. Uh. Well, let's get T Hawk. He's from Street Fighter. Uh, okay. So then just go here to download them. And then you. It's probably gonna either do a .dot rar seven zip or a regular zip. If it's a regular zip and you have Windows eight or seven, I'm not so sure about Vista or XP. But if you have Windows 7, 7 or 8, you can automatically just unzip it. Or if it's a RAR or a 7-zip, just get WinRAR. It's honestly the easiest thing to use. And the reason why I say WinRAR for even 7-zip is just you can open it up with WinRAR and just drag the file out like so. It's, it's honestly the same thing. WinRAR supports 7-zip and just regular RARs. So. <clears throat> okay, once that done, we got that. Just for the sake of this uh, t for the sake of time, we're going to click Rename real quick. Oh my goodness, did I just seriously click delete? Didn't even realize that. I meant to click rename so it can copy its name. Rename, control C, or however you copy names. Because we copied the name. I'm going to put it in the Mugen folder. Uh, where is it? CS Talk, right? Put it in another Mugen folder. And I know I have two Mugen folders for the sake of this, easy. So when I have characters I don't want in my game, like if I'm going to do like arcade and I just want to get serious and play a character, just take them out and uncode them. So we're gonna go to characters. Uh, making sure he's in here. It's down here. Okay, CVS is CVSTA talk. All right, and then um, 
if you ha okay so then we're gonna ooh where is it where is it where is it where is it I think it got rid of it ouch damn it ooh oh wait no it's in data that's right sorry um okay here we go so it's, you're gonna see the select folder and then you're just gonna say add characters no no you're not gonna see anything on mine cause I have the I have a thing called the EVA screen pack which allows me to have I think over 800 characters which I'm obviously not gonna have it just also in my opinion it looks cool um, so it's gonna be like ins oh okay they're still here but uh, insert your character below now this for the default just click right there just find it It's somewhere in the select notepad click enter and then control V your name I don't know this isn't gonna honestly change anything for mine because this is the old one that I actually don't use anymore, so I'm actually, for the sake of this video, so for the sake of me actually not ruining my game, I'm just gonna delete that. Alright. Because it's because I don't want it. Don't save. Alright. There. That's, that's, all, that's all you have to do for the character. Um, you could pause the video right now. You can go check, and if it doesn't work, go back. Make sure my steps are right, correct. Um, make sure you didn't misspell anything, and say it's st like you just tried all that, like nothing's misspelled. Go to characters, find the person that you want, like where's Hawk? Uh, CSV Hawk, okay. Now um, go to where it says the def file, make sure it's always a def file. Uh, open that, and make sure um, that like this is all, that like nothing in here is weird. Like, never mind, just don't, don't matter about this, this doesn't matter. Just make sure that is the same as the folder because then if that's the same as this folder then that's how it's gonna work and if it doesn't work you me you're messing something up and you just don't see it <clears throat> alright now if to do an EVE um, just go to EVE battle after you set it up that's gonna be a different tutorial go to data evolve select and then same thing it's just for this because it has more slots um, just go to where it says random select delete that and control V and there you go and just control S, make sure that okay. There we go. And now you can pause the video for the Eve members. Um, you guys can uh, pause it, make sure. And then we're going to be onto the stage. Alright. Alright, if you pause the video, welcome back. If you didn't pause the video, you just heard me randomly say welcome back. So, um, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> Alright, so then we're going to get a stage. Alright, so, now, for the stages, I suggest you go to the manga wiki, like, uh, no, not, M Mugen wiki. Alright, so, Mugen wiki.com, category characters, and it doesn't matter where part of the category, like, the wiki you go, um, just go to highlight over Mugen right here, go to stages, because even if you go to the character menu, like I am, just go hover over it and go to stages. Uh, let's see, let's, uh, Tenkaichi Budokai... Gumball, Street Fighter 2, USA Harbor, Rainbow Row, oh my goodness, how did I not see this? I already have Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium. Rainbow Road, alright, so just get to whichever one you want. I suggest uh, animated, it is animated. Um, you can have music or you cannot have music. Uh, Super Jump is enabled, I don't know what that is. And Resolution is high, which means it's got good graphics. Uh, check that, like say like you can't run high resolution maps, like your computer just sucks like my old one did. A lot of you people know from my Terraria YouTube Let's Plays and my Super Smash Flash, which we'll have more of actually. Uh, I'm planning on doing it, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, you guys will know that my PC sucked, so I won't be able to run this map obviously, but um, we're just going to get Sol Sonic Brawler's version. These are all people that made it. So, it's going to take us back to Mugen Archive. Wow, cool. Just click download. And I know for the Mugen Archive, it actually does do a fire scan. Same with the Wikia. But just be careful. Make sure you also scan your files just in case. Or, like me, I have auto scan for Mac VM and Windows Defender. So we're just going to open you. Alright, minimize out of that. Now you're going to see all this stuff. You're going to be like, holy crap. Well, don't flip out. So go here. And now let's say you're in a uh, default. Alright, you're going to get these. Alright, take the S, D, D, E, F, and the S, F, F, these two. Take it and drag it into here. It's gonna save like that. Alright, we got that. We're good. Alright. And it's honestly all you need to do for the default version. And now let's just go. Wait, I don't think that. I think that's actually how it works for the this too. It might. 
you battle data yeah same the uh, same way for the eve players like that and then there you go and now to ha add more slots now this is going to be kind of complicated eve players this that's the end of video video for you guys so see you next time but um default users uh continue we're going to go data big make sure you click big i'm not going to do this cuz it's actually going to ruin my game i tried it before read me where is it? Uh oh Oh, right here. <laughs> my parents are chasing my baby sister. <laughs> Alright, control C that. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> then go to where it says Mugen. CFG file. Alright. Fine, it's going to say something different right here. Like it's going to say modif equals data Mugen1. Alright. So, um, just delete that. Obviously, I'm not going to, or else it's going to mess with my game. And just copy and paste what you copied. And what you copied. Well, I mean, it's Control V, so you paste it. And there you go. You should have up to 60 slots for your default. Now, with uh, Eve, I don't know how, so, yeah. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, I don't know how to do sound, but I can learn right now. Hmm. Well, it depends. Time of the video, 11 minutes. Yeah, I can, I can teach myself. All right. Hmm. Would it be in system? No. Hmm. Select. Music. Okay, it's also gonna say the stuff like right here. This is for a uh, 1.0, by the way. So if you guys get 1.1 beta. It might not work, it might, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Set the prevalent name of the music file to use BGM, that, that character, this, this overrides BGM music parameter in this death file, so you can reuse the same stage for the multiple characters, but have different play, play for each person. Alright, including, okay. You can also randomize an icon. You can also add a randomized icon, select screen to do this, okay. For extra ages, okay. Here, are the ma you can see the maximum number of matches. Okay, not there. Hmm. <sighs> Wait. It's not in there. Hmm. Sound. Hmm. No? Hmm. What's this? Don't want to mess with that. Well, this has been a fail. I don't know how to do it. Hm. Oh well, I'll learn. I will learn. Alright guys, that's been a quick little tutorial on how to use Mugen. Uh, just to show you guys what my game looks like. Let's go and uh, show you. Just so, uh, for the Eve players. Yeah. Uh, let's go play as T-Hawk. Arcade. Colonel Sanders. I do not know how to play this. Chicken to the face. Like, did you guys see that? Oh, chicken to the face again. <clears throat> My goodness, stop using the chicken. Colonel Sanders OP with chicken. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, well, that just happened. Alright. See you guys next time.